Hey guys, I just wanted to do my review of Criminal, um, the new crime thriller starring Ryan Reynolds, Kevin Costner, Gary Oldman, Tommy Lee Jones, Gal Gadot, and G. Trow, I think. She was Feora in Man of Steel, and Jordi Mola um, as the main villain. So basically the premise is, Ryan Reynolds plays a CIA agent who's based in London, who gets killed by um, Angie Trow and Jordi, and Jordi Mola, who is trying to find a payoff and find a hacker who's trying to get asylum, who's trying to find asylum, and, but the terrorists get to, but the, but the main villains get to, the terrorists get to him first, and it turns, and they end up kill, torturing him to death. Um, Gary Oldman plays his um, superior, plays his superior officer, and he decides to call Tommy Lee Jones to enact an um, experimental program in which he's able to transfer the memory, transfer Ryan Reynolds' memories into another body. And, and the doctor decides to choose a guy named the kid. Reynolds' character is named Bill Pope, and the character's name in this movie is called Jericho, who is this like psycho, you know, psychopathic killer who has had um, frontal lobe damage, so he has like no, he has virtually no conscience, no sense of right and wrong, no empathy, um, no sense of no social, no sense of social cues, etc. So they decide that he's like the ideal candidate. So. So his memories are implanted into him, but... And this is where the movie becomes basically a, a bit of a mess. Like, it just felt like the first... It's about a two-hour movie. Most of it just felt like it was... It, the movie didn't want to know... It was kind of meandering along and didn't know whether it wanted to be, like, a crime thriller or a character piece because we have this whole thing with, um... Jordy about the terrorists who are trying to get to this hacker and use him to access all the different um, weapon systems, like basically give him access to all like weapon systems around the planet. But yet he's kind of meandering along. You know, he's going to like different stores, going to like different places, like cutting people in line and eating their, you know, eating their food as they're served up, and then like, and then beating, you know, just like beating people and just beating people up and cutting, you know, going to libraries just to do research and cutting. Cutting in front of people there and all around rude and listening to like loud music and just kind of like laughing maniacally when he's in this car, like blasting the music. And Kevin Costner gave a really great performance as that character, especially since you know, like I said, the moments of the whole maniacal laughter in the car and blasting the music. I mean, just the maniacal laughter itself, you know, that's just something I would see like in the store, you know, when I'm going out shopping or out in public, if I saw like a really weird person like take on the, those kind of mannerisms, like not saying that they're exactly like this character, it's simply, it, it reminded me of that. Um, but he was also, but then there's also the fact that it's like, it's really hard to root for him because you would think that in the beginning of this movie that, or at least how it's hyped up in the marketing, that he would become this more like, morally ambiguous bat morally ambiguous badass but it just seems like he's just kind of still being an asshole he's just not murdering and he basically he's still just being acting the same way for most of it. he's just not murdering everybody and the memory i mean there's even a part where you try to get the tommy lee jones and like he rams it and like he drives a van that he stole and rams him into a wall and almost could have crushed him and he's trying to get more access to the pills because it's like the medications to help with the uh, memories because they're sl they're slowly but tr affecting him but at a snail's pace to the point where he basically just goes to um, Jill Pope and their and her daughter's home in London, um, played by Gal Gadot. And there's a scene where you think like she's gonna be like taped to the bed, and where it's like he's gonna like rape her because it's like he keeps having like flashbacks of them having sex, and then he's like standing over the daughter, and then he just leaves again. But then, but the nice thing about it is that she doesn't have, um, she's not gonna, she's not playing like the damsel in distress, Gal Gadot, and actually, I mean, I liked her performance here more than in Batman v Superman, a movie that I think I might have been too easy on in my review, quite frankly. Um, 
the bit anyway, like, and she also is shown to be, you know, I don't, I mean, I don't know if she's been like a, a trained agent or maybe because knowing that she knows what her husband does and she's, you know, good with a gun and she's able to like protect herself, but you can tell like, it's, thing that it's only like till like the last half hour until like the movie starts to come together and it becomes the movie I wanted to see where he becomes this morally ambiguous badass, you know, screw the rules, I'm doing this right, and then he becomes attached to this family and starts taking on the mannerisms and um, of um, Bill Pope and saying that now he knows right from wrong and he has empathy now and he, but the problem is that the the effects of the experiment are threatened to only be temp are possibly only being temporary and so he temporary and so he has to protect them from the terrorist and it's basically you know like I said the performances were great especially Gary Oldman greatest actors of our time goes a fantastic performance I mean the guy could be acting opposite a desk lamp and still give a great performance um Tommy Lee Jones was good like I said Everybody was good across the board, and I liked how the two villains actually seemed to have, like, a romance, which is very interesting, and they had to, like, genuinely care about each other instead of just being, you know, and it gave them a little bit of layers as opposed to just being, like, you know, stock vil stock villains, and they were, like, revol and, they, and they had them as, um, working as, like, revolution, like, revolutionaries, and he was, like, and Jordy Mala was supposed to be rebelling against the... Spanish government, and that's why he wanted to access to the hacker with the missile technology, and basic, and like I said, it was just like, it was too much of, like me, it was like too much of, you know, like, the pacing was terrible, I mean, the movie was kind of a mess, like the pacing was kind of off, and I think like it took too long to like, get any kind of momentum, and I, I've... I don't know, I and mean, there's even a part where they have, like, Alice Eve, who, who, um, was in Star Trek Into Darkness, um, and also did a stint on Entourage, where it's, like, she plays a, one of, a, like, a, an agent, is, you know, escorting, um, Kevin Costner for execution, and, or trying to get, or said you're supposed to ditch him, but then they get attacked by the terrorists, and she gets hit, and Kevin Costner doesn't bother to, like, help her, and the, and the movie didn't even spend much time, like, treating her like a forgettable character, even though she had a fairly prominent role in the beginning of the movie, and they just kind of, like, for, just kind of forgotten about almost immediately. Like, they don't even linger on the death at all. Which is just... I don't know. I, I, I just didn't like this movie. I just thought this movie was a, a, a huge disappointment. Um, I just say, if anything, it's just... Just wait till it's, like, out on, Netf on Netflix or Hulu. On, you know, maybe even... Yeah, hell, just maybe just wait till it's like on HBO or something. To be honest, um, I just say go check out the. I just say go check out the Jungle Book or Barbershop two or Barbershop three. I mean, I heard those been getting good reviews, but yeah, this is definitely a rental for sure. Um, this is based. This is like from a sneak preview I saw last week. I've been meaning to do a video for this, along with Daredevil. Those are going to be coming up soon. God willing that I can do get all my errands done. Um, but yeah, those are my impressions of, of the movie leaving the sneak preview. Um, so, have you already, I mean, have you already checked out, um, the movie by the time you've seen this review? Are you still, do you still want to see it? Are you interested? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.